good ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the second channel now i know i'm in bed probably because i'm just tired you know how this whole thing's going down but anyways what i decided i'm going to give you guys a story time video now this story was voted for by you guys on my instagram so you go follow my ig all my social medias link are in the description i said okay between these two stu these two stories which one do you want me to talk about and this is the one you voted for i'm gonna talk about the time a girl blocked me now i was, I was, I was gonna call it this old high school trick you got me in trouble with a girl which is true but i think getting blocked by a girl just sounds a bit more more better now before we continue as a recording the second channel is on 98 subscribers we're trying to get 100 subscribers so please if you do love my videos hit the subscribe button and you'll become a full-time legend so without further ado let's get into this now this story goes back 2017 this was like i said this is what the worst year of my life for many reasons but forget that what happened was during this time my friend of the night was staying with me he was going to a school called acc now one time at night we went to we went to a shop near near my estates i was just we were i was just there going to go buy some credit what happened was like the girl that was on the cashier she for me she looked familiar now for the sake of the story let's call her jackie because i don't want to expose her real name and all that stuff now i told her like hey, that girl jackie she looked very familiar and he asked me like where do i know her from i told her like, she looks like one of those one of those girls that i went to primary school with so when i went to from the front i just said okay here's the stuff i want to credit credit on this credit on that you know usual usual while she was doing her thing i told her hey you look you look familiar you look like someone i used to know she's like really where do you know me from i said oh there's a girl like back in primary school i used to i was in the same class with and um, she used to wear glasses back then she's like really what's her name i said yeah her name was jackie i was like oh i that's me jackie i said like, oh it is you i haven't seen you in a while how you been doing he said oh she's been doing well i'm like yeah hey, you know what we should we should like catch up with you and all that stuff you know what was happening but i see you're working i respect that so i'm gonna let you finish i'm gonna let you finish off so that day was normal finish we left that was it that day now fast forward to i think it was like two two days later yeah four two days later it was on a sunday morning now i was just there they're looking for something to show now before i say what happened you know back in, you know in secondary school when you're sitting with your you're sitting with your mates on the table i'd like they open their phone probably go on to snapchat and they turn on the front camera and then while they're recording they tilt it to your side and they'll ask you to look down and then you look at the phone and then they get you it was like those kind of things where like those kind of things where they'll record a few seconds of you and then when the more you look at it they stop now jackie was in the shop she was she was working i was like i said like, let me just let me just pull this thing off thinking like ah this was gonna be a bit funny so i so it does that so I, on the couch i run hey jackie is that you yeah i didn't think anything of it i just thought it was funny and i just and i just did that and i just left now what happens next is a bit unreal because two days later yeah this happened on tuesday on a tuesday she hits up on my dms on instagram and telling me that she can't believe what i she can't believe that i recorded her while she was she was working first of all the thing that was running on my head at the time was i don't have her on anything how did she find how did she find my instagram now i know that question is kind of dumb because i always say 
These are my socials, right, by the way, for my socials, link in the description. But this was a bit odd because I, because this was, I did this on Snapchat, I didn't show it anywhere else. So I was thinking, possibly there was a, sn- there's a snitch on my, on my Snapchat. I never went back to look at who was the one that did it. But there was a, a snitch on my Snapchat the when I showed, showed it to her. But the fact that she wanted to hit me on Instagram, but not. And not on Snapchat was a bit, was a bit sus. It's a bit sus. It's still sus. But anyways, I, I replied to her by saying, "Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't feel you look at it that way. I didn't mean to. I never mean to stalk stalk you. I have no intention of being a stalker. I am not a stalker. I never tend to stalk to stalk you. That's all. I never mean it. That's all the way. I apologize. Hope you forgive me." And then, and the lines when she was telling me like, "Yo, do this, do, don't do this kind of things with me." I was like, hey, "I apologize, forgive me, forgive me." That was it. And then she was like, "What I'm trying to say is, don't talk to me, don't even come near me." I'm just like, "Yo, hold up." I just said, I, I, this was not my intentions. Why are you taking it that serious? Why is she taking it that seriously? And then before I could hear something else from her, she blocked, she blocked, she blocked me. <laughs> she blocked me. And the thing was, her boy, her boyfriend at, at the time, I think, I don't know, I think probably they're still together. But her boyfriend came on my Snapchat and told me, yo, he didn't like what like what I was doing to her. Like, she's my girlfriend and all that whatnot. In my head, I'm like, bro, I've known this girl long I've known this girl longer than you have. Hype down. And the funny thing was, he at the time, he, he was go, he, that boy went to the same secondary school as I did. Because I looked at the uniform and I clocked. So I was like, okay. So they should like, hey. I told him, bro, listen. I never mean it. I never meant it in that way. She, she took it out of context. And I'm just saying, yo, I apologize for that. All I just want is just for it to give me. Now, fair enough to, fair enough to the guy. He understood. He forgave me. He never blocked me or anything. But she, <laughs> she hasn't blocked me. And the thing that just baffles me, like, and to this day, she still has me blocked. I'm like, okay, I, let me ask everyone. When you block someone on social media, do you block them for for as long as you have the account? Do you block them forever? Or do you just unblock them after a certain point? Because with me, like every person I've blocked before, I unblocked them. Because the time has passed. The th- this issue is not that serious anymore. And like there's really nothing between us right now. So it's like, I'll block you. Yeah, you can go and do your thing. She, she still has me on blocked. We haven't even talked for three years. And those years I've only so like three times. Like I don't even care. I don't even care. So uh, that's that's what happened. Right now, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do something real quick. Give me a moment. A few moments later. Okay. Two days later of, of this weather video. Now in the bed. New camera, new camera setup, new camera location. I think it looks kind of nice. If you think it's good, let me know. Anyways, like I said, I made this personal message. I'm bring, I'm reading to Jackie. So Jackie knows herself. If she's watching this video, this is what I would like to say, say to her. And before I say this message, I have to let you all know. I have never said it in this language before, so I'm pretty much going to butcher most of the words on it. But please give the benefit of the doubt, as I never read or spoken this language in my life. So you can tell, yes, I have, I translated it. And you'll find a translation of it on this side of the screen. Okay. Multumesk Jackie. Multumesk to Pentru Kami E Aratatelun Dil Personua Kari Esti Ibai Devarat. It is a multi-mask 
Anu e blocesi si numa ierte pentru incident desi a fost o cum tre ani. Mulțumes ca m ai făcut sami dau sinava. Ca ke me uni din tre oameni sun se care au o inima viduli si sunt lipsiti de sine. Mulțumesc că mi-ai arătat că asta mica problema în care te deranjează de a te ajunge. Am înțeles că nu am înțeles dar de asemenea grăsesti că ai nu ați o preinsăios chiar am Prezut ca nu a fost atât de mare. Te iert pentru a te grăsit, dar nu ai făcut-o. Dumnezeu în castie ca am însăcat să te caut iertărea asa ca nu pot fi depesit în viața de apoi. Dacă asta fi, fi restul zilelor tale, atunci asta să fie. Dar amintiti va de asta. Parma este o curva. Va veni la bătuir. Nu este o amenit that's my personal message to you jackie hope you take it into consideration and use it well while moving on with your life but now moral of the story ladies and gentlemen and don't do this don't do the same thing i did in, in public unless you do unless it's with a friend who's comfortable with this sort of thing and not only that don't don't stalk don't stalk people while they're working or in the middle of doing something i wasn't stalking her i, I was not stalking her but that's the fact of the matter but don't be a stalker as you get people uncomfortable always be apologetic and do ask for forgive ask for forgiveness because god said he forgives those who ask for forgiveness and if the person has forgiven them then god has forgiven him but if the person hasn't forgiven him, then God remember God will always remember that you've asked for forgiveness and he's always willing to forgive you. But that's my story, ladies and gentlemen. If you did enjoy it, give it a like. As a recording, we're only two subscribers away from reaching 100 subscribers. So please hit the subscribe button. All my social medias and my main channel and all that sorts, links to them will be in the description below. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.